emergencies are something we can practice in a flight simulator and I like to think are uh, favored to practice in a simulator. If you ever see that image on the screen where your propeller stops spinning, it can be a uh, day full of sweat and uh, some words that you shouldn't utter online. But I will say it's something to practice a lot and get a better understanding for your aircraft's performance. You throw in the fact that what if this happened and we couldn't see the ground? Well, it's good to have a couple ideas of what we should do. Some emergencies I like to practice are partial panel. Let's say we're flying on ILS and we don't have our attitude or our heading indicator. Would we be proficient enough to keep airspeed, to keep VSI, to keep power settings, to keep our heading so that uh, CDI1 is indicating we're on course, flying just off the magnetic compass? That's a good one to practice. Additionally, we can do unusual attitude recoveries. Uh, sadly, a lot of graveyard spirals begin with a slow change in our approach or our flight characteristics, and it snowballs. And our ears start playing tricks on us, uh, eyes, we can't see the horizon, so we don't realize we're in a bank. So if you ever look down, you see you're in a, about a uh, 45 degree bank. Uh, you've got a minus 2000 vertical speed indication. Your airspeed is increasing. It's good to know what to do in that scenario and make a quick change because seconds can make a big change when you're flying an aircraft and you see that sight picture. An electrical failure at night is one thing. When you don't have a view of the ground, it's another. This is a good one to practice in a simulator. When everything goes dark, when you can't see the ground, even those little twinkling lights that uh, sometimes help you to find the right place, what do you do? What would you run through? It's good to have that practice in a controlled environment rather than getting to that point and maybe freezing up or not knowing what to do. Um, we can do that in a simulator. Another emergency that uh, you know I don't think anyone will purposefully do is flying into a thunderstorm, uh, and we can do that in a Cessna 172. Uh, really practicing, just keeping our attitude in a certain phase, uh, not really trying to hold altitude. We're just trying to keep from the aircraft getting overstressed, keeping our airspeed at maneuvering speed. These are all things we can do in the simulator, and will give us a healthy understanding of why we want to keep a a big distance from those anvil-shaped clouds. And then lastly, we've got some icing conditions. As you can see, when ice builds up on the leading edge, it's gonna change the weight of our aircraft quite a bit. It's gonna change how much back pressure, how much airspeed we need to keep altitude. And in a simulator, we can really get a better understanding of why we steer clear of those situations in smaller aircraft or aircraft that don't have anti-icing or de-icing features.